All right, first niche is going to be birthday security niche. Birthday security squad. You can see the shirt right here, simple text based. Okay, um, and you can see simple text based design, right? Um, little sister protection, brother. Um, you can see how they're, you know, the keywords, you know, the customer that they're directing it to, like who they're targeting, right? Now think about this at scale. Like there is a ton of different shirt ideas that can be made for pretty much every single niche that have, has to do with, you know, a little sister, um, unicorns, I'm thinking unicorns, I'm thinking slavs, I'm thinking anything that is for a little girl birthday party, right? So if we come over here to product search with Merchant Farmer, okay, everything that I'm using, I'm using Merchant Farmer, uh, movers and shakers, I'm um, using the product search, kind of just coming up with new ideas. You can see right here, we typed in birthday security. Average BSR around 800K, 900K, roughly around their competition score is about an A. Now, of course, you know, princess security, you can see what they're doing right here. It's a little, I don't know if you would want to mess with that on Amazon. It's up to you. Um, but you can see they're using the kind of like the Disney um, font, right? Um, now we come down here, unicorn security, right? And you see how they mix that right there, which is pretty cool. Um, and this is a consistent seller. You see the text base, just different colors, right? Which is really cool. Um, come down here, mermaid, mermaid, mer, oh, mer dad. I'm sorry, but a mermaid. Okay, we get the idea. Mer, mer dad. And see what they did right here. Let's check it out. Mer dad, don't mess with my mermaid. That's cool, right? So the dad's the security guard. You can see what they're doing here. You see how you dive into one niche and then you come up with different ideas for another niche and so on and so forth. And now, can you? Do this with another niche. Let's say you have a top seller in the birthday niche. Can you do something like this um, in another, uh, like come up with a new idea for your niche and do something like this? Probably can if you thought about it, right? Kind of brainstorm a little bit and see what you can do, All right? So let's keep on going down. Princess security, birthday security squad, mermaid security, birthday security squad, mermaid security again, unicorn security, see what they did, circus security, security. Uh, Keep going down, mermaid security, all right, unicorn security. Okay, so you get the point. You see what they're doing here. Um, I would think of, you know, different ideas that you can use in here. I'm not seeing too much of any of the retro, right? I'm not sure if it's, this is made for that niche. I'm not seeing nothing with any birthday cakes or nothing like that. Balloons, I'm thinking numbers too as well. Um, you know, maybe the third birthday party, unicorn, third birthday party, unicorn security or something like that, or um she's three years old um the security something like that um and also too do not forget to look at the keywords uh, i don't see nothing sticking out in the keywords but yeah that's like you know think of stuff like that too as well so even just by the birthday three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and just you can scale it out that way too and come up with awesome ideas so let's move on to the next niche all right so the next niche is going to be the calligraphy niche Okay, um, you can see right here, best mama ever. It's written in Arabic. Okay, you can see that this like this type of style, um, if you don't know what it is, um, it's right here, calligraphy. Uh, let's go right. Boop, boop, boop. It's a visual, you can see right here, it's a visual art related to, it's a visual art related to writing. Okay, and it shows some examples. If you, you know, open up right here, you're gonna see some examples of, exactly what it is okay um but you can mix this with a ton of different niches okay there is so you can see what they did here um in arabic okay best mama ever okay um arabic calligraphy again you can see what they did here with this design and then you can see what they're mixing into you know different types of niches okay, Japanese samurai warrior retro Japan calligraphy for courage you can see what they did here now if we come over here and look at the product search over here and type in the calligraphy keyword um, you're gonna see when we come down here there's a lot of Arabic uh, Japanese but some of most of these are you know related to Mother's Day and just mothers in general it's a top selling some top selling niches here okay uh, which is it's it's pretty cool because you can you look at all this stuff and you're just like there's like so many different niches out there 
this is why when I get confused when I see people um, trying to go after, you know, like infringing on other people's brands. I'm like, dude, if you did just a, a little bit more research, like you can find these hidden gems that are just top sellers and niches, right? And that they're crushing. So it just a big niche, okay? If by implementing this, you know, type of design on a t-shirt, you can just scale this out like crazy and just go after, you know, different types of niches by doing this. And it's freaking awesome. You can see, you know, you see all these BSRs here um, that are doing pretty well. Okay. And then just different ideas. And you can even, you know, you see the keywords, the related keywords that are over here. Okay. And then, you know, even if you can, maybe you can turn this into like a, some type of KDP book, right. And just take it to another level and um, you, you can probably create a book. Okay. Uh, which is something that you would research. I haven't researched that yet, but um, it's popping up in here a lot. Um, so the calligraphy niche, I would definitely, you know, these are one of the, one of the niches that I think it's really, really awesome. Okay, let's head over to the next niche. Okay, the next niche is going to be the crab ragoon niche. Freaking awesome appetizer. <laughs> this is a, a really cool niche. Uh, I was watching TV today. I was like, dude, this would be a cool niche to share with everyone. Um, and I was like watching a, a commercial and a show in Crab Ragoon, right? And uh, this is, you know, this is uh, a popular type of, you know, finger food. It's like an appetizer. Um, you can see I love Crab Ragoon, okay? Um, it's not going to be like a crazy selling niche, but it's going to sell, you know, if you, I, I feel like this niche is underserved. So if you create something, there's an opportunity here. Um, and it's like, it seems like it's more like a, it's not a newer niche, but it's been around for a while and there's not that many good designs up. Um, you can put some really good designs up in this niche. There's good designs up. There's not, you can add more designs in this niche. That's what I'm saying. Basically. Um, I love crab Rangoon. Okay. Simple, real easy, right? It's consistent sell seller in the niche. And that's what it is right there. If you're unaware of what it is, here, let's do a search real fast. Okay. You can see this is what it is. Crab Rangoon. There's a few different ways to make it. Okay. Um, cream cheese. Crab and cream cheese. Dip it in sweet and sour sauce. It's freaking awesome food. <laughs> so, you can see, I wonder if Crab Rangoon thinks about me too. Okay. This is, as you can see, it's a pretty cool design, right? Feed me Crab Rangoon and tell me I'm pretty. You can see, like, this is, like, you know, one of those designs that have been up. You know, one of these sayings has been around for a while, for the last probably like five, six years. Uh, crab Ragoon Lover, you can see what they did here. A little work for Crab Ragoon. <laughs> so uh, this niche right here, I think it's a cool niche. It's a food niche. Um, but as you can come up here, you can see the total results. 500 average BSR, 319K, right? which is really cool. Um, so that means there's a demand for this niche and uh, not that many designs up. So like I would literally come in here and start making some designs and see if you can make any sales. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So if you're unaware of this niche, jump into this one and let's move on to the next niche. All right. So the next niche is going to be spoiled wife niche. Okay. Um, I never dreamed I'd, I'd grow up to be a spoiled wife of a grumpy old husband, but I'm here. I am, but I am, but I'm here and I am killing it. Okay. Um, text-based design you know a little element right there some little dots in here nothing too crazy about this design but it's selling okay um which is a it's a really cool niche right blessed by god spoiled by my weld spoiled by my welder protected protected by both okay so it's like uh like a you're proud to be like the weld like a welder's wife um you can scale this out a lot right here you can do so many different niches right here just by make, mixing like a career and God, you know, at the same time. It's there's, you know, plumber, um, football, fo football player. You just go on and on with each and every single occupation. OK, now this is, you know, there's a whole damn paragraph on a T-shirt, but hey, it's selling. Right. Uh, think about this when it comes to any of this stuff. Um, this is the spoiled wife niche, but like there's so much you can do. Okay. By you writing this much on a shirt, um, you know, people will sit there and actually read this. 
As a spoiled wife, I have a freaking awesome hum- husband. He is also a grumpy man, but he is perfect mixture of sweetheart and warrior. Okay, you guys get the point, right? <laughs> I'm not going to keep going on and on with this one, but you can see like these type of text-based designs. It, there's so much. You could write this much on a t-shirt and look, it obviously has 47 ratings. 20, you know, they're selling it for $22, which is freaking a nice little healthy royalty, right? Let's come over here to um, Merchant Farmer product Reese products search um i came over here and spoiled wife typed in that long tail keyword and you can see what they're doing here there's you know just some really awesome designs in here that are selling over and over and over and over okay there's a lot of text on there but remember doing this type of stuff you're creating less competition for yourself okay if you take a little bit longer on creating a design okay this is going to help you stand out in a niche and you know obviously create less competition for yourself okay um spoiled oil filled wife okay something like this like i said this is something that you probably could scale out and it'll just you can do really awesome right here i'm not spoiled my husband just loves me okay there's there's that too as well i'm not see i'm not spoiled i just loves me see what they did you know all white text you got two colors here got some uh, lip prints right there um truck tr- uh, trucker girlfriend trucker wife you know so on and so on uh yeah, so this niche right here, think about, you know, occupations, wives, girlfriends, side girlfriend. I <laughs> there's so much you could do here, right? Uh, future wife, engaged, you know, there's there's a lot that can be done right here. So let's head over to the next niche and just think about, you know, like a long sayings on the t-shirts seem to be doing really well in this niche and you can obviously create a top seller by doing that and you know put the price up a little bit as you've seen on that last one that was charging $21 for a t-shirt which is really cool all right so the next niche is going to be rate uh, the car you know lovers niche okay race it break it fix it repeat okay uh, this is you know you can see it's the black text design and you know that repeat type of design right that you can see all over the internet but there is still room for this but you just have to you know add a little bit more text it seems like like they did here and this will look good on if they just switch the one of the things too okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat this over and over you can just change this to all white and it will look good on a black t-shirt and you change it all like how this one is all black text right and it does really well on a t-shirt okay um <clears throat> certain funny sayings in in any type of truck mechanical or, or, or any fixing of cars, car lovers, anything like that does phenomenal, okay, when it comes to any funny sayings. And that's with any niche, of course, right? Uh, but something like this, this is more of a, you know, people that love cars, racing, mechanic, all that stuff. They, the people that work on cars, like they, that's a whole nother passion, whole nother level of, you know, when it comes to any of these niches, they just love their freaking cars to that level, right? really cool text base right and like i said well any there's in every single niche there's always a text-based design that's gonna crush it okay um not saying this one right here is crushing it not the top selling one but you know just any any niche if you look it up go do your research you're gonna see that any of these type of any text-based design there's gonna be one text-based design that's crushing it in every single niche all right race car spelled backwards is race car um simple uh simple design not too crazy nice little color scheme that they got going on i like it and i like what they did with the actual design make it seem like you know it's you know it's racing race car um one thing too if you guys are unaware that merch informer trademark check you guys want to check that out it's an awesome tool to help you check for trademarks as you can see check for trademarks there's there's nothing trademarked here so really awesome maybe the car was double check the phrase sometimes some people will you know just by you know bypassing the algorithm they won't put the actual phrases on the what what exactly what it says on the shirt they won't put it in the title so you always want to make sure you're double checking that just because i'm showing you this doesn't mean you don't double check on your end okay don't be lazy double check your work double check your damn work all right um so i come over here did a product search over here on merch informer um something like this you know when it comes to creating designs 
that take a little bit more work, you literally just created less competition for yourself because this took a little bit of time to create. Okay, you can see what they're doing here, which is freaking really awesome. Okay, and think about this for every single niche when it comes to this type of design. Okay, you're it's like a diagram and you're showing all the you know the the engine pieces and stuff like that. And by looking at the keywords, you can see how they're targeting this. That's what I'm looking at right here. But it's powerful. If you do just do something like this, he just literally went from you know a thousand people competing with you to probably under a hundred people competing with you. Okay, by taking the time and you know you know maybe investing into a design or how having someone you know create this type of illustration or doing it yourself okay if you can do it for do it for yourself and you can create this type of artwork do it okay it's gonna take a little bit of time but it's obviously you know you're creating a better chance of you making a sell in the niche for the first time um as you go down shift happens I've seen a lot of this design before you can see shift happens <laughs> instead of the, the, the cuss word it's they're putting shift happens right which is which is dope and they have the you know the stick shift right there which is really really awesome now with some certain things like this you know you got to be careful this is copying like the tesla you don't want to mess with anything like that and they ripped it basically and uh you can get in trouble and that's how you get your account suspended so make sure that you're watching out for that type of stuff okay you want to be copying nothing and um Next thing you know, you have a you get a hit on a ding on your account because you're doing stuff like that and not, you know, double checking and understanding the rules. I just want to drink beer and work on cars. Okay. You see how they did cross two niches together and boom, credit this one. Okay. This is freaking really, really awesome. Easy white text. Switch it over to black and make black text and make it look good on a white t-shirt, right? Really, really freaking easy. So yeah, so the, the, the niche that we were talking about right here was car lovers. Um, if you want to, if you want more niche research, check out these videos right here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up too, by the way.